Imagine. It's 2009. You're 12 years old and your mother just bought you Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. It's a school night, but you're sitting back with a nice ice cool mountain view. Let me smell your breath. Let me smell your breath. You hop into a few multiplayer matches and you learn a lot of new words. You find yourself looking up on YouTube tips and tricks, and you start watching YouTubers like Woody, Wings of Redemption, and FPS Russia. Then you're like, huh, I want to make some videos. So you go out and get your parents to buy you a pop. There, you start your career with MLG montages. So you play Very Super Famous by Jean LeJoey over it. Ah uh, yeah, drop the beats. In the planet of Earth, I am the most famous person of the world. You jump into multiplayer matches with a Kembo 1887s and start blasting people halfway across the map just like God intended. <laughs> Until it was patched. Fuck you, Activision. Anyways, this isn't 2009. And this isn't multiplayer. This is early access campaign footage of Modern Warfare 2. 2022. A new one. One without fighting Russians in the Gulag. No unexpected twist in the story. No subversion. And no particular airport mission where everything goes as joyfully as planned. Remember today, no Russian. It does, however, add an actual character to Ghost. And not just be some dude in a skull mask that people liked because it was edgy. It's weird that it happened twice about a year apart. I'm looking at you, Emil. But at least one of them didn't roast in a fire. <laughs> so the game starts off and you get to play as Ghost. I mean, <laughs> fuck yeah. And then it rips it away from you and you never play as him again. I can tag him from here. Send it. Now you're stuck playing as Soap. What kind of fucking name is Soap anyway? This one, he kind of seems like a, a frat bro. A dude bro. He's like, I just got out of a uh, Scottish frat party and now I'm here for um, Task Force 141. I'm just going to say that this is not a review. I don't tend to review games because I more like I either like the game or I don't like the game. But I'll be sharing my thoughts as I come across them. I just speak into the mic and <laughs> whatever sticks I throw in the timeline. Anyways, the thing that stuck out to me most is the gunplay, which of course is pretty much a staple of Call of Duty games. I mean, good gunplay is practically a must when you're clearing out houses. They're inside that. But in veteran? <laughs> I don't know what that means. Oh boy. Building two. Let's go. I'm here, dude. So you really gotta keep your eyes open. Oh. Though keeping the difficulty in mind, the game is generous with checkpoints. So if you die in a house, you're pretty much put back a minute at most. Then it's totally fine. Cause you'll start to learn where these guys pop out at. Unless it's randomized. I didn't really look into it. Ghost, we're secure. Two deaths already. I'm gonna round that down to zero. How do you get down? Fucking change the controls every fucking year. Blasting you through a quarter inch gap. Nice. Like, oh my god, really? Not great, we gotta go outside. I don't like ghosts, new ghost choices skull face this. mask. I, I just like the balaclava. I don't like the little Why 3D printed thing he has on his face. It's kind of weird. Is that guy? We're gonna be able to make these choices? A high school Rotsy kid. Okay, something broke. Who just got done playing Halo Reach. The hell's Amsterdam got to do with this? I was just there last month. Now we play as Gaz and Wet Boy. Don't really have too much to say here. Except Gaz can't hold his breath for shit. You do not want to be in those canals. <laughs> Anyways, I couldn't do stealth, so I just went in loud. Good on you, Gaz. I'm not really a reviewer, 
I don't tend to review it's games because crazy, I, but I really didn't like Amsterdam. It's more like I either like the game or I don't like the game, but I'll be sharing my thoughts as I come across them. I just speak into the mic and <laughs> whatever sticks I throw in the timeline. I don't have that button on my mouse. What does five mean? I'm not doing anything, bro. I'm trying to figure out which fucking button to use. Oh, easy, man. What too many, huh? What you want? I can secure. I can use. Copy. Hotel behind us. You know what? I never thought I'd be drop shotting enemies in campaign, but here I am, drop shotting enemies. Border patrol, nice. This mission has you playing as Mexican special forces, crossing the American border and running through houses. It's pretty much the same, you're just clearing houses, don't shoot the people that are not meant to be shot, and you'll be good. However, there was a really frustrating part coming up, and I died numerous times. What you say? Oh, that you only meant well, but cause you... Holy shit. What the fuck was that? Now you go forward. Took quite a few bullets. Piso. A lo mejor está acorralado. Damn, I got messed up. Where's the other guy? He betrayed me, didn't he? Oh, jeez. This was the thing about Modern Warfare 2, 2022, is that there really wasn't any stakes to it. No one actually well, died. No one was in danger of dying, except this guy. You know, they kind of took that away from us. They made Soap look like a douchebag. Jeez. And Soap, throughout the game, actually... He gets shot up multiple so times, and he seems to shrug it off. This game is pretty tactical. God damn it. Get the fuck out of the way. So I die and my buddy there doesn't die? <laughs> Cartel protection. I don't even know why they gave you friendly AI. Are you going to do with you in this? Or is it just going to be they me? do absolutely nothing. They just stand there. They're not even cannon fodder, because once the enemies see you, you're already being shot by 20 different people. Where's the fish AI? Really taking this opportunity to revamp fish. We've added fluid dynamics, interactive smoke, and also added an AI system to it. So we have fish move out of the way when you get close to them. This is powered by a new next-gen engine. The compound now, standing by for fish. Shadow one, Bravo zero, seven, that guy always has the blue steel on him. Roger that. Armed personnel only. Do not fire on the buildings. Copy. Do not fire on the buildings. I didn't fire on the building, they man. It's like those live leaks. <laughs> I shouldn't have said that. Be advised, you're clear up to the compound, but the gate is blocked at this time. Copy. 
give us away in yet. We'll Close air. Stand by. I actually started getting annoyed by this <laughs> by this level a few minutes in. All shadows, we've got incoming vehicles um, at the side. Maybe just because it got hectic towards the end. And I, I can't do that shooting my allies. Mostly because I'm blind. <laughs> I'm not Good attack. Oh, I just shut up. I'm not gonna say that. I mean, it was an overall fine mission. It was just me. Can I skip this? It is getting annoying. Jesus, that took a long time. It wasn't that. It wasn't too big of a fan of it towards the end. Forty thousand people used to live here. Now it's a ghost town. Fifty thousand people used to live in the city. Now it's a ghost town. Never seen anything like it. Recon by fire is good, and it is a challenge on veteran. You said it was going to be close. I'm just going to stay right behind you. Oh my god. Oh my god. Heartbeat sensor? No way. That is uh, throwback. Look at that. It's not even detecting Tree Price. Line. Let's get up there. Price is already dead. Dun, dun, dun. Trees will give us some Trying to clear out these warehouses and houses. I just killed myself. With like 20 guys inside. <laughs> okay, how many fat stacks are here? Fat stacks of dead bodies, not mean. And as I said before, the AI is really really accurate and they shoot through the smallest of spaces or sometimes they shoot through walls they also brush off flashbangs to the fast, face like they do it every morning they haze each other with it I found something there, captain give us a hand yeah i'll push you pull. Yep. <laughs> jesus that was. <laughs> I was about to lose it there for a second. 